Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and a question that I had today that might actually be useful for some to actually know about. How to add an app to the firewall exceptions. Now keep in mind that by default usually any new program that wants to access or any app that wants to access the web will automatically trigger a um, you know, a demand and you're going to have a pop-up going to say, well, you know, do you want this app to actually be able to go through the Windows firewall? Most of the time, this is automatic and you have nothing to do. But there could be exceptions to the rule, including apps that sometimes aren't apps that you install, but have executables, simple executables. Often they cannot trigger the firewall or you might just want to add an exception for a app that you have. Now be careful, know what app that you're actually giving an exception here, because exceptions mean you are giving powers to that app to connect. And that's very important to know what you're doing here. Do not give an app access to the web when you have no idea what it is, as uh, it could actually turn out to be kind of a bad idea. And you can you know, have people take control of your PC, you can have viruses, all sorts of bad things can happen if you do so. So this, first of all, is for Windows. And remember that there's another place where there's connectivity with a firewall, and it could be within your router. The router also has its own information and its own rules. It doesn't mean because you open Windows firewall that the app can still go through. Sometimes it could actually still be blocked by the router, and that's another thing in another video. So how do you give access to an app for the firewall? Well, it goes through the Windows Security app. So in the Windows Security app, one of the options that you will see is firewall and network protection. Here, you will see allow an app through firewall. When you click this option, it's actually grayed out. You're going to say, oh, it's grayed out here. Why can I not change that? Because it wants you to understand what you're doing. So it actually will require you to click a change settings button for you to realize that, yeah, you know, before you do it, remember, you hope you know what you're doing. And of course, there's a little, what are the risks of allowing an app to communicate? Once you understand what you're doing, change settings, and you'll have an allow other, another app. Here, you can see an app here maybe, if not, browse and go and get the executable of whatever app you want to get to give it its um, you know, uh, place. Often it's a nab that might be in the program files. So maybe that's where you're going to go or the program files or program files x86. So maybe that's where you're going to go and get one of those apps. Once you get the executable for it, you will have a option. So you can click on the executable here. And if you say open, it shows here and it tells you that now you can add this. So that app now has full access to the network and to the internet. So here I'm going to cancel. This is how you add an app. And then you just click OK. And that app should actually have all of the access required to the internet. Remember, if it still doesn't work, could be within your router, which has its own set of rules on firewalls. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.